Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, Miss Honey, and uh, today I'm going to be decorating these light switch covers. Um, I used to do this a lot back when I was in high school, and um, I just always had a lot of fun doing that. It um, really brightens up the light switch, I guess you could say, So this plain old white dull thing. Um, but my kids love it, and uh, I love doing it, and I have a couple of them around here somewhere <laughs> um, that I did back, you know, way back in the day. So um, I figured I'd give it a try again. I haven't done it in quite a while, but um, I've got four of them here, and um, hopefully I'm going to be moving soon. So when I do that, I'd love to be able to put these up there, and then when that's done, I can show you guys. So stay tuned for that. But um, until then, let's open one of these up and get started. Okay, so first I'm going to scuff it up a little bit so that way the paint will stick to it a little better here. And you don't have to, you know, use any um, harsh or coarse sandpaper. This is a, like a really fine sandpaper sponge and um, it does the job perfectly. There we go. All right, so now that's all painted and washed. Um, we're gonna go ahead and start with the base coat, which I'm, I think I'm gonna go with a rainbow colors and um, for the first one. And uh, I've got some kind of design that I'm gonna put over that. I don't know how well uh, it's going to last without some kind of clear protection. So once I'm done with these, I'm going to, uh, put a clear coat over it. I haven't decided if I'm just going to use a Mod Podge or an actual like clear coat spray. I'm <laughs> let that dry and I'll add a few more coats and uh, do some blending and stuff um, once this is dry so we'll be back all right now that that has dried we're gonna go ahead and add a few more coats and uh, see if we can't blend this together
right, guys. So right here, I went ahead and decided to use the Mod Podge instead of the uh, the clear coat spray, mainly because I didn't have any like I thought I did. So I had to go ahead and uh, just use Mod Podge, which is fine. It uh, dries clear and gives it a nice shiny coat. I just prefer the um, the uh, smoothness, like the smooth texture that the spray gives over the uh, Mod Podge because it does leave like uh, brush stroke marks, which aren't that noticeable, but it's just, you know, for a cleaner look, you want to go with the spray. So I'm just giving uh, each one a nice uh, coat. And here is the space themed one, which I do like. Turned out a lot better than I thought. I had to change a couple of ideas I had on it, but I like it. It turned out real nice. And here's the zebra stripey like one. Um, I like it. It's a little bit sloppy, but um, it's pretty nice, even though I have it posed upside down. Uh, here's my last favorite one. I don't really care for this one too much. It's not as clean as I like. But um, here they all are. And uh, I hope you like them. My favorite is the honeybee one, of course. You can tell me yours in the comments. But um, stay safe, you guys. Um, stay indoors as you know much as possible during this crazy time. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. I hope it helped you pass the time. Bye.